What is the price corridor map? Well, then generally this is used as part of the implementation process for Blue Ocean Strategy. Blue Ocean Strategy, the sequence for planning and implementation, usually goes from buyer utility to price evaluation, cost evaluation, then ultimately the adoption phase. Well, this price corridor map allows you to understand a customer's sensitivity to price when compared to similar or competitor products or value propositions out there in the marketplace. And it also allows you to derive a target cost as part of the process. Now here's a visualization of this process. Generally you have the price corridor where you're identifying a range in which prices exist for a given product or service and where the majority of customers are within a given price range. And then you identify within that an upper level, mid-level, and lower level price range to identify the groups in which you'd be addressing, right? The size or number of individuals that are there and where the product pr falls with regard to its competitive stance in that pricing corridor. So with that being said, let's, uh, the, the way you use the price corridor map is one, to identify a price range to start with for whatever value offering you have out there that identifies the largest group of buyers. And this is your price corridor. Okay. From there, you can try to pinpoint or identify the highest price point in that corridor that maximizes your revenue within that that corridor so from there you've identified one the range of price you want to be in but that specific price point that is going to grab the most customers within that range that has the most potential customers in it then you'll make the strategic decisions about okay your intellectual property protection how do you want to maximize that with regard to your distribution efforts what are your key assets that are required to price in this in this range or to position your product among these other uh, potential competitors in that range and then the relevance of your core capabilities uh, to implement whatever value proposition in that range so that it competes adequately or at least stands out among the value, other value propositions that might exist, your direct competitors or your indirect competitors. And then from there, you can categorize the offering as lower, middle, or upper price range depending on the market segments that you can identify once again within that price range. So, Analyzing price from there, you can say, okay, this is the target price we're going to introduce the product at. You can say, well, then what are the cost structures that will allow this possible? Well, if you can identify what you uh, target as a potential uh, profit margin, okay, what you make on top of what it costs you for sales. So you've got the target price. If you subtract what you expect your profit margin to be, if that's 20%, 25%, 5%, whatever it is to based upon the nature of the value proposition, but you subtract your profit margin, from there you can say what your target cost is. So you can use this price quarter map to identify the target cost of acquisition. Now it would be amazing if you could even come in lower than that cost structure. But as long as you stay within that cost structure, that is a viable price point to achieve your blue ocean objectives. That is developing a market for your product or service uh, in that given that given price range. So once again, if you look at buyer utility and then price and cost as the next implementation steps of Blue Ocean Strategy, the price corridor map helps you with that process.